What's up LFA TV? Really quick, I want to give a shout out, a quick shout out to Lexus SE 300 and 400 uh, Lexus uh, page on Facebook. You guys should check it out. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can check it out. This is an introduction to my build that you want to call it. I have a bunch of parts laying around and I kind of want to show you guys that what I've been doing with over the past year, I've been saving up some money and buying some parts uh, here and there slowly. And I want to share them with you guys and share you guys uh, share with you guys my process. But first of all, let me show you guys some of the parts that I have. Uh, some of the parts I have bought so far have been uh, these right here. These are um, the lower control arm bushings. Now I'm gonna go to the machine shop and get these old ones pressed out and install these new ones. And that's pretty much it for the lower control arms. Um, let me show you something else. I'm also gonna go with OEM. Uh, I believe these are uh, Morgan, or a uh, Dorman, I'm sorry. These are Dorman um, OEM upper control arms. Uh, I bought these new, the whole arm, instead of just changing out the bushings because these are fairly uh, affordable. Um, and it's pretty good quality for what you get. I mean, after all, they're OEM, so I'm changing these out both sides also. And uh, let me show you something else that came in today. Once again, shout out to Rock Auto. You guys are beasts, all right? So I actually just got these today, and uh, I'm talking about it like if you guys already know what I'm talking about, but uh, Like Christmas morning I got brand new um, these are from uh, Idle Deco uh, there you go brand but anyways uh I got brand new inner and outer tie rods brand new uh, outer tie rods so oh, actually these are the inner inner tie, rod, tie rods one bad and these are also, these are Moog, 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 how do you say it actually? Moog, Mug, Mug, anyways. I got Moog, Mug, whatever you want to say, uh, outer tie rods. And uh, yeah, I'm basically gonna be replacing all my OEM components. And uh, let me show you why. <sighs> all right, you guys ready? Bam, bam, bam. Anyways. These are CX Racing's, uh, I think, ah, fudge. I forget exact model, but anyways, these are CX Racing uh, coilovers. They're, from what I believe, they're a 16-way adjustable. I am gonna be installing coilovers and I am gonna be changing out all my OEM parts before my OEM uh, suspension components before, shh, shut up! No, no, I'm gonna show you guys the wheels that uh, I'm gonna be putting on this. Once again, man, I'm on a budget. Okay, these are knockoff wheels. Okay, I don't have the money to go and spend no $2,000, $3,000 on wheels, okay? I went the Chiripas way. All right, so uh, these are nothing special. These are, for those of you that may know, these are uh, XXRs, 526s. I got them in uh, 18 by 10.5. I believe the lip uh, on these were I think four and a half inches all the way around Got a nice Nice lip going around It's an introduction. I want to show you guys what I'm doing with everything that I'm doing to my car And I'm gonna be doing the work uh, by myself and uh, Yeah, these are stuff that I've been saving for the past year and just buying components little by little Uh. Yeah, now to the tablet install. All right, fellas, we're, there she is in all her glory. It's a 97 SE 400. Uh, she's all right. Please keep in mind that there, there are many ways of doing this. This isn't the only way. This isn't the my way or the only way, whatever. This is the way that I'm gonna do it. And I'm sure that you guys could figure out a different way to do it, uh, depending on your liking. All right, so this is the idea. This deck, 
is actually not going to be removed. It's going to stay in the car. This is actually going to be behind the tablet. Like this. It will be behind the tablet. This tablet is always going to be connected to this deck via Bluetooth. And my volume on the deck is always going to be on all the way up. The highest it could go. Because... On the tablet, I can control the volume on the screen. So whether I want to go up or down or lower the volume or whatever the case might be, I could control everything through the tablet. And the music, the Google Maps, anything is going to be playing through Bluetooth to the deck. The only thing that I got to worry about is getting the power to always charge. So this is how the tablet is going to sit on this. Um, it's kind of almost a perfect fit if you think about it. Um, it will sit just in there just like that. And uh, obviously I'm going to mock up something so it holds the back of the tablet like this. So when I'm pushing from the front it doesn't move back. But this is how it would sit. It's actually a 7 inch tablet. Is It could not get... It couldn't fit any better. This is how it would look. Which is pretty sweet if you ask me. This is the problem that I'm running into. The AC adapter or for the power to charge it is all the way at the bottom and it's hitting right here next to the uh, the flimsy cup holder that we have in the middle of, uh, of the center council. All right, so I kind of made a little spot um, where the AC adapter, the wire is gonna go through the side of the cup holder. So I'm gonna make a little hole right there and that's where the wire is gonna come up. And the goal is to actually still have access because I have the little cup holder that goes here that flips out. The goal is to still have that available and to make it look completely OEM still. All right, so, um, I'm gonna make a hole right there. All right, so basically I'm getting like a little cheap Dremel and I'm carving out a hole. Now I made a little square to, to fit the size that the, the USB uh, wire is. So I'm just fitting it or making it to the exact same size. All right, that's what it came up to. That's what the hole looks like and uh, this is what it is on the inside. Yeah, I kind of messed it up with doing some extra scratches right there, but it'll be all right. And uh, this is to to test fit. As you can see, it goes right through on uh, either side. And the point is that The wire is going to be like that from behind and voila it works and uh, this is how I'm going to get power to the tablet all right the only two wires that I need is actually this one right here positive and negative and I'm going to wrap this up and this is all I'm going to use all this extra weight and bulk I do not use all right, so this is like the little finished product. Looks like a little roach or something, but um, yeah, this is gonna be wired with the 10 amp fuse um, or a 15 or 10 amp fuse to the to the cigarette lighter. All right, people, so this is what I did. I have the USB plug here, and then I have the positive and the negative going to the positive and negative to the cigarette lighter. And I actually just tapped those in and wired those in. So I still have access to my regular uh, cigarette lighter if I, in case I want to um, plug something else here and charge like a phone or something like that. So the tablet is currently not charging. It is plugged in. Okay, so let's give it accessory plugged in 
and uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but uh, see, now it's charging. All right, folks, so the next thing is to actually remove this bezel and uh, because I'm no longer going to need this single DIN uh, bezel and this is going to be gone and the double the, the single DIN uh, deck is going to sit behind the tablet. And I'm going to try to figure that out right now. Yeah, man, this is how it's going to look. And uh, so far it's going to look, I, I feel like it's going to look pretty sweet. But for now, folks, uh, I'm going to have to call it quits right there for today. I want to give a big shout out once again to um, the Facebook page, uh, Lexus SE 300 400 Mods. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, stay tuned, man, because I'm going to have a bunch of stuff coming up. And um, I, I want to say within the next couple of weeks i'm gonna be installing all the parts that i showed you guys i do have some slot and drilled rotors on the way uh, i think i got a, a rear uh, visor coming in and uh future plans is to also paint the car so um yeah man thanks for tuning in stay tuned to the next uh stay tuned for the next episode all right